about the uh, actual solicitation of this directory advertising? Well, our company, Glenn, uh, our salespeople, both uh, salesmen and telephone sales ladies, will contact the various business people in a local community, and they will make a study of their uh, needs in the telephone directory. And these needs, of course, will serve the advertiser as well as the buying public. In other words, then, the uh, Yellow Pages is designed as a service to the buying public as well as the advertisers listed there. Is that it? Oh, very definitely. The uh, Yellow Pages are for the buying public, and uh, the, they're as convenient. They offer a ready-to-buy list of products and goods and services for the buying public that are convenient as their telephone. And, of course, to the advertiser, it offers him an economical and effective way to put his message across to the public uh, 24 hours a day and completing, as we say, the, his advertising cycle. That's an interesting uh, term, advertising cycle. What's meant by that, John? Well, Glenn, uh, I might illustrate here with a chart we use on the advertising cycle. Uh, here you have uh, newspapers, you have television such as we're on. You have radio and uh, all types of advertising that are designed to create interest uh, and desire among uh, buyers. And however, as we know, when this interest and desire is created, a lot of times the buying public are not at the point of purchase. They are not ready to buy. So we say that the Yellow Pages uh, is the source that most people go to when they are ready to buy and it completes an advertiser's cycle of uh, having him covered at all points and particularly at the point of purchase. Mm -hmm. Well, does this uh, advertising cycle principle apply to national as well as local advertising? Well, very definitely. Uh, national advertising uh, plays a big part in it. Uh, more and more national firms, in fact, I'd say uh, practically all of them, uh, have a problem of local uh, dealer identification. And, of course, the telephone directory, the Yellow Pages, offer an excellent outlet for the national advertisers to identify their local dealers. And, as you may have noticed, in magazines, on television, radio, uh, every place, more and more national advertisers are telling their uh, the buying public to refer to the Yellow Pages for your nearest dealer. Uh, they, as well as our company and others, uh, promote the yellow page decals uh, telling people to find it fast in the yellow pages. Here's an interesting one uh, that is made up in French, which was recently introduced uh, in our Louisiana division for the French uh, people down there saying, find us fast in the yellow pages. <laughs> well, tell us a little bit now about the company itself. I understand you're approaching a 50th anniversary. Uh, what about the founding and growth of your company? Well, our company uh, was founded, started uh, by my father, Mr. Lauren M. Berry, in 1910. And you're correct. The uh, next year represents our 50th year in business. Uh, he started uh, with one directory in Marion, Indiana. He happened to be selling uh, advertising in an interurban timetable at the time, and a friend of his, the manager of the telephone company, asked him to sell the advertising and uh, put out a directory for him, which he did. And it was the start of our company. Uh, today, as I already stated, we handle approximately 1,000 directories. Uh, we employ approximately 1,200 people, which includes sales, uh, clerical, uh, art, uh, and management people. They're located in some 29 states. We have three territory offices, 13 division offices, a number of district offices, as well as our general offices here in Dayton and, of course, our Ohio division offices here in Dayton. And this whole operation is headquartered right here in Dayton. It's headquartered right here. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. John Barry of the L.M. Barry Company, for this first part of your story of enterprise. In a moment, we'll have some questions for uh, Mr. Robinson about the local aspects of your company's operation. But first, let's turn for a word from Motordom's masterpiece, the 1959 Cadillac. We are often judged by the company we keep and the possessions we acquire. It would be difficult to recount all the wonderful things that a Cadillac car indicates about its owner, but the fact that he chose the standard of the world for his motor car speaks...